Today we are going to look at as to trade. So as we define the commerce as trade and as to trade, we are going to look at these commercial services. So there are different challenges first during trade, then as to trade facilitates smooth flow of goods from producer to the consumer as we defined in the definition of commerce, that it is the distribution from the producer to the consumer. So we look at each of these uh, as to trade, how they help in trade, how they help the producer, the traders and the consumer. So as to trade, we have insurance, insurance which guards uh, against business risks, then we have advertising to promote goods, then we have communications which happens between consumers and suppliers, then we have transport, warehousing, then and finance. So we are going to look at the importance of each of these as to trade. So we'll start by uh, transport and list the importance of transport. So in transport, it helps firms in different ways. So it can help in the carriage of raw materials, then finished goods to the market, then employees to and from work, then equipment and machinery which is needed by the producers and traders, then advertisement can be done through transport. Then we also have banking and finance which helps in making payments to the suppliers and also receiving payments from the customers and data. You can also access loans and offer draft in time of need from the banks. Then banks also offers financial advice, night safe services and trade information. There are many more uh, functions of banking and finance which helps in business. Then we have insurance which protects producer against the fire or theft risks. Then medical aid, it also provides medical aid for the employees. Then embezzlement of funds, there's involvement of cash in business so it can be embezzled. Then bad debts, this is the failure of customers to pay uh, for the goods. Then employee employer's liability, so an employer can be liable for employees actions then you have legal aid to fight legal battles then warehousing can help in different ways it can help in stabilizing price since goods will be available so in other ways it prevents shortages since supply will not dry out when we have uh, warehouses then seasonal goods which are not produced in other seasons can be kept in warehouses. Then we have raw materials which are needed for production. They can also be stored in warehouses. Then spare parts and goods in transit can also be stored in warehouses. Then warehousing protects goods against harsh weather. So these are all the uh, importance of warehouses. Then we have communications. Communications is the exchange of information between two parts. So it can help in making orders from the suppliers, then receiving orders from the customers. Then management and workers can communicate within an organization. You can use communications to monitor delivery or movement of goods. It can also help in marketing activities and also obtaining customer information and customer conduct. Advertising. Advertising helps in increasing sales and building brand awareness and it also helps in promoting new products or introducing new products it stimulates demands and it uh, differentiate brands from other brands so it helps in marketing